can still feel the breeze.
The biggest hazard to Memphis drivers other than car-to-car collisions is potholes. Well, you need a tire. You need to go to Tri-State Tire Wholesale located at 3278 Democrat Road at American Way. They specialize in new and used tires. I don't care what it is that you drive, whether it's a car or truck tractor in the field, a motorcycle, SUV, or a semi-truck, Tri-State Tire Wholesale has the tire or tires for you at the best price in the Mid-South area. Every brand known to man is carried at Tri-State Tire Wholesale. Don't look anywhere else. Tri-State Tire Wholesale. 3278 Democrat Road at American Way. Call them at 901 795 0707. 901 795 0707. I'm here today to introduce you to Red Cop. Red Cop and Events and Come on, take a look with me. Red Cop. Book for your appointment. We have a nice spacious area that calls up to 125 feet. You get a free seat. You get a free table, free chair, up to 50 people. You get 50 people for free when you rent your field. In this room right here, we have more tape, more chairs. Kitchenette that's going to come with a refrigerator, microwave, sink, ice machine. We also going to provide parking lot security, renovated bathrooms, 
in this in this room right here, everything is free. You get a free photo booth. You get free 360 when you rent at the red carpet. We have two more bathrooms down there that's available. That's a total of three. We also have a big stage area. Or whatever you might need that for. Nice space, 3,000 square feet building. I've got the best prices in town, and everything is free. You also get two marquee numbers, four marquee letters for free. Thank y'all. Come see me. When death comes to your family and you're left in charge, of putting together a celebration of life program you want that program to be memorable beautiful and to project the marvelous life that your loved one lived well for your funeral program you don't have to search or look around you just need to call the obituary queen d ferris of ferris media and marketing and alpha omega Monuments. D takes pride in special design and production of your loved one's memorable program after the funeral and your loved one is buried and you want that burial spot to be memorialized forever. Call D for your monument. D Ferris and Ferris Media and Marketing Management can take care of all of your print needs both church and professional and anything that you need d can get it done you're looking for a graphic expert call d at 901-440-6643 that's 901-440-6643 or go by 2960 Chelsea and Warford. Are you sleeping on a mattress like this? Or like this? Or even like this? Well, you need to be coming to 901 Mattresses 7166 Winchester Road. Or give them a call at 901 218 7118. They have unbelievable prices. Queen size mattresses starting at $199. King size mattresses starting at $299. Brand name mattresses at the lowest prices in town. And check out the bedroom furniture options at deeply discounted prices. They're open Monday through Saturdays from 10 until 6 and Sundays from 12 noon until 5. Easy financing is available. No credit needed. 90 day same as cash. Only $50 gets your mattress home. Same day delivery is available. That is 901 Mattress, 7166 Winchester. Get them a call at 901-218-7118. By the grill, I will be returning to the pool pit Sunday, June the 2nd at the new location of the Naked Truth Liberation and Empowerment Ministries located at 581 Palm Avenue in North Memphis right behind CC's Blues Club. All ethnic cultures are invited whether you're white, whether you're black, Chinese, Latino, you are welcome. Negative truth is not judgmental. So yes, gays and lesbians, you are welcome. So are the hoes, the liars, and the drunks. 
scripture says that all unrighteousness is sin. So all of the unrighteous, you want them to make it true, liberation and empowerment ministries. At our new location, 581 Plum Avenue in North Memphis. On the first Sunday in June, June 2nd. And remember, this is not your mama's church. No traditionalism. afternoon and you are as amazing as God is amazing and has been to you. Man, I was listening to that um, Al Green and you know I'm the baddest on the radio that's ever did what I do playing this music and I was just listening and uh, it was taking me back to um my days in the 70s with Al Green and Full Gospel Tabernacle Church and his sister. Yeah, his sister and I was together for a long time. His baby sister, Clostra. In fact, uh, we're in contact with each other now. She's a uh, in Iowa, and her baby that uh, she had way, way, way back there. She just had a baby when I met her. He's pastoring in the state of Iowa. But anyway, it's been a great day for me. I'm just, you know, I'm grateful to wake up. Yeah, that's. That's my captivating moment. Every day is when I wake up and I got a reasonable portion of health and strength and I get on up and make my way on down the hall to the studio. I got any pics from the 70s. Young black male, what would you want? A picture of me in the 70s. Yeah, I got a, I was looking at a picture in my phone the other day. I had an afro out to here back in the uh, 70s. Then I uh, cut it and got the uh, Jerry Curl. And you young folk don't do really Y'all remember the Jerry Curl. I had the Jerry Curl and yeah. then I went to the micro uh, afro and then I just held, I just went to hell. It was just that. Yeah. Well, um, 
when I was a young minister, well, they didn't have these walk around cameras there, man. You know, now you can just take a picture with these things uh, at a moment's notice. And I keep my camera always on ready because you never know what you're going to be able to capture. I'm from the age man of the corner roll. You know, we had a camera back in them days that you could pull it down and you put the film cartridge in there, close it back up, and as you took a picture, the uh, the picture would shoot out the camera. Y'all remember that? <laughs> Did I have a New Yorker cut out? James, I don't know what a New Yorker cut is. I went over to uh, Warren Lewis at Warren's Barbershop on Thomas. He was my barber for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Polaroid. Those were today's. Today I spent some time at Naked Truth, Liberation, and Empowerment Ministries. And I did a show already today. I did a show with my good friend Moses Tyson. And the show was entitled Gangsters in the Church of God in Christ. There are some shady things going on in the Church of God in Christ. Well, bishops stealing money. Well, the Church of God in Christ is trying to take churches and property of congregations. You just need to go to uh, the earlier show that I did today. Yeah, Coward, use big shit. If you had a Polaroid camera, I don't know. I mean, they wasn't uh, expensive. But it took the picture and go zoop. It would just immediately come on out of the camera. Okay. Also, I uh, talked to a Memphis black entrepreneur today whose name I'm not going to call. See, when you have as, as many enemies and haters as I do, you, some things you keep close to your chest. Because I'm going, I'm going to go by and pick up. He owns about eight businesses. And I'm going by tomorrow to pick up a couple of checks. And I don't want about it. Call him and why are you doing business with daddy is made to use da 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 So I, um, nope, 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 nope. But well, I thank him. And I'll let you know who he is tomorrow after uh, I pick up the checks. Amen. Now, since I um, mentioned and had um, Steve Moore on the show last night, I've been getting texts from men wanting to know when am I going to have the bedroom 
30, which in a couple of weeks I will I will have it. Um, men are interested in making sure that their Wangma things can get a thing. Uh, one of my good friends that with me every morning, Dave, down in uh, Texas, texts me early this morning, talking about how well the bedroom therapy works. Then about two o'clock this morning, another man texts me early this morning from uh, from Florida. Let me see if I can go back to that text. Um, uh, Dave from uh, Sugar Lane, Texas said, Lord, that cough is sure enough worse. Every time the wind blows, you will be teaching, pitching rather, a tent in your britches. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. It also helps guys if you screw in a woman you like. Um, well, let's see, let's see. Uh, this guy's name here is uh, Nicholas... Jones. Man, when I tell you this is the truth, man, I last long in it. Oh my God. And I felt something different. When I went to the shop and shaved, and I said, this is not it. So I'm going to be your number one customer. Believe me. Sir, my name is Nicholas Jones, and I'm going to listen every day Oh, oh my, this is my truth. Thank you, sir. Well, Nicholas, I'm going to have it for you, okay? I'm also trying to find a local business where you can go in and purchase, okay? Um, but I don't trust nobody. I'm, see, I'm in a, I'm in a mode right now that I trust nobody. Okay. Um, and that's what happened with me and Shop and Save. And let me assure you again, Shop and Save is selling bullshit, selling crap. They are, is Shop and Save is not selling the real bedroom therapy, okay? Um, and he backdoored me some years ago, and I really never said nothing to him about it. When I start to marketing the um, product, I went to him and I said, man, let me, this is one, he, he was already buying advertising from me, and they've been buying it from a while. I had, I had a commercial that I had, I said, old fat ass Myron Larry. Y'all might, might remember that one. I said, man, this is going to bring traffic into your business, and it did it. Okay, and, and, and it did, and, but, okay, um, it did. You don't want to just depend on ham hops and greens and green, uh, poke beans and whatever it is that you sell, because men are going to come into your store to get this product, and they did. How he got it was, 
at that time, it's still just coming in the packets. I had it in the box. It was called Erector. So what he did, after he started getting dozens of men coming in, getting the product, he started what he did. He called Steve. Steve didn't know his relationship to me. Steve sold the product. Now, I get the product from Steve at a very good price. Very good price. That was real. I was able to make $50,000 a month selling the product. So, now, the, the product is not made in the United States. During the pandemic, we had to wait, you know, because the ships and stuff was, it has to come on from overseas and go to New York and come all the way down. So, it got behind. And if he get behind, I get behind. Because I was racking in that money. Okay. But, that's I, I don't trust him. So I'm going to try to get another business. There is a business that I'm going to call about carrying the product here in Memphis because what we're going to do is the packs will cost $25 a pack. No checks, cash out, or when you go to the for a store that I'm going to get it in. Um, cash. $25 for anything less than 10. Over 10, they're $10 a piece. There are people selling it $25, $30, Forty dollars. A minion always wants to be able to fuck. Me and touch your neighbor and say, I wanna fuck. Do you wanna fuck? Okay. Uh They got your rectal of signs in Tony's place. But they, you heard Steve last night. And then he fucked up with me. Steve, I mean not Steve. When, he, you know, he said the hedge and on the advertising. Okay. You made this because he didn't buy no other. Yeah, man, shit. I was able to charge them three, four thousand dollars, two, three, four times a year. Okay. And when in my business, in the advertising business, when you get into October, November, and December, fucking buy no advertising because y'all love y'all love that white man called Santa Claus. So y'all go to Santa Claus. Uh. I am a care. I am a snack baby. You want some? You want to bite me into this? Oh, I, could, I could stand to be bitten into, baby. Oh, glory. Uh, so I've been looking for the first year for my monkeys. Okay. Through that bullshit of people, see, because you know, see, I'm, I'm so used to Negroes used to tell me one thing and then they do something else. Okay? So, yeah, I'm, I'm fucked up about the, the advertising, but I will make triple, quadrupled it back. 
selling this coffee. I'm just trying to find a new way to put the commercial together. I'm not going to use the one with Levon on it because it got shop and save on it. Okay? So I'm, I'm looking for the right mode. He sent me a track of the commercial. So I'm looking for the right video to put that on. You'll be able to get it from me. You'll send me my monkeys. Okay? And you can go to the website and order the product. You ain't gonna have to wait for me to send you this shit. Okay. I'm a one man operation, I didn't want to do all that shit. Okay. It will come he has a whole operation in Atlanta. So, after you make your order, within five to seven days, you will have your order already in the mail. When you pay me, I pay him. I buy in quantities. In fact, I'm able to set other persons that want to sell it, I'm able to sell, put you in business. Okay? But I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about calling uh, Crystal over at uh, the mattress place. She, uh, she advertises with me. Crystal gets to be my girl. And uh, she's never been nothing but good to me. So, uh, and she needs the traffic into her business to try to make it. Okay. I help those that help me. If I like you, I like you. It's just like playing your music. If I like you, and you get a good record, I'll play you. If it ain't shit, I tell you it ain't shit and I can't play it. Okay? Uh, those who think that you're going to buy it and be able to go to the website and backdoor me. See, when, you, when I get fucked one time and the fucking is not the fucking that I wanted, then I put non-fucking clauses in place. Those that order from me, names will be in the system. If you order, this, the website is going to kick you out because you're my customer. Amen? All right. So, Tony Williams, you'll be able to go on down there and get your son. Okay? All right. Now, let me say this, then I'm going to get into what I want to talk about tonight. Those of you that would like to advertise, I'm going to do an on-air special. I will give you, see, one month of advertising on this show. Is fifteen hundred dollars a month, unless you buy six, seven, eight months, that I'll, I'll make a deal. But I will give you if you text me while I'm on the air, and I'll call you when I get off at nine. I will give you three months tonight for 
hundred dollars. All you gotta do is text me at area code 901-949-3000. That's 901-949-3000. It's only good from now until the point that I go off the air tonight, which I'm going to try to stay on to 9 o'clock. If you got a business, and nine times out of ten, I can have your commercial on this program on tomorrow. Because I'll be up too late. Okay? I then took my little Edith nap when I got back in here and I stopped and got me a hamburger. I, uh, I was in this, in my recliner, my favorite place, and I was sleeping until, uh, Zena wasn't getting no attention and then come nuzzling on me and jumping up in my lap and all that old shit. And I woke up uh somebody said one hundred murders in four months and JB Smiley wanna have a meeting. I missed that. Okay, I, I missed I missed the news. I was in my Evening snooze. He won't have a meeting with who? Let me let me go to uh, channel thirteen news and see where he won't have a meeting at. So if you want some advertising, three for one right now. Text me at nine one nine four nine three thousand, and I will get with you as soon as I get off the air, if you get your money, uh, you can text it. And I'll start working on your commercial tonight. Oh, uh, let's see. Let me go to Channel 13's. Uh, let me see. Let's see if it's on here. About J.B. Smiley. Let's see if this is it. I'd like to be on one of these committees, but, uh, see, I don't keep channel three in my, in my phone. Um, I don't think, I think I might keep the weather in there. Channel three, I got five. Um, so, Yeah, I got threes of weather. I ain't got But let me let me let me say this. I'm tired of goddamn meetings. I think the uh, mayor by now should be at one hundred days. Yeah, he's at 100 days now. Um, the answer to a lot of what is going on in Memphis, please understand, it is not political. Okay. Okay. If you if you got the link of of what you're texting me about. Send it to me. Uh, it's not political. I was looking at a 
news summary while I was at the church that showed some miners that stole a guy's so they make 100 okay So they makes 100. Let's see. Oh, I guess it does. Okay. Um, they stole a car and they had no way of knowing that their owner had a camera on the inside of a car, of the car, vehicle, truck, whatever it was. And it was recording their actions. Okay? What we are looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is a mama and daddy problem. Not a police or politicians problem. If I was to ask you right now, you got minor children. Do you know where they are now? You got a 14, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 year old. Right this minute. And right this minute. At 751 on a Tuesday evening. Do you know where they are? Okay. Now, I, I think the owner said that the theft took place early in the morning. The, the truck was parked outside of their residence. And these children, these babies, these demons were walking the streets. They were like the devil in the story of Job. Where y'all going, little children? To see who we can devour. So, about five of them, I, I believe it was, that were in the car. Now, why is it that they were out? Have parents lost so much control with their children that how does your child leave your house eight, nine, ten o'clock at night? How do they leave that? Or how is it that they, even if they leave 4 and 5 o'clock in the evening, how is it that you don't know where they are by at least 9 o'clock? When I was a little boy, uh, Channel 3 used to do a thing. When the news came on, because when I was a little boy, Channel 3's news was the marquee news. It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? So, how long do you allow your children to be out? Do you have any curfews? Do you have any rules at your house? As of what time a child is supposed to be home. 
shit niggas, you gonna win in the morning. You you be able to call me about twelve, twelve thirty, and tell me that y'all won in court tomorrow. Okay. But these children are demons. They devils, baby. They are heathens. How is it? See, when I was, I keep talking about when I was a little boy, and and, 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 and that's ancient history. But God, uh, 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 when the light pole, and that was a light pole in front of 1098 clad in New Chicago, where I was raised, it was a, it was it was a light pole uh, right there, and, and the light will come on every evening, and the rule was when that light come on, don't be on your way to the house. Your ass needs to be on that porch. Or inside the house. Don't let that light post catch you not at home. And if we were not, there were repercussions and consequences that we as children and the children on my street, we all suffered. We had a railroad track there and a big field on the other side where we played football and and, and, and you you can't play it no more. You house for the last for the next week. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But y'all ain't got no rules for y'all little heathens. Y'all just let these little motherfuckers loose. They just run. They just running loose. They look, look, look. They looking for something to steal. Well, my child don't steal. Yeah, he just ain't found what he wants yet. Okay. He just ain't found. And, and, and look. Y'all, as parents, with these little children, y'all don't know their friends. You don't know who they run with. And, and, and many of your children are impressed a little, okay? They, maybe they didn't want to steal but they were with somebody that wants to steal. Come on, man. You look out for us. You got a car, man. We go in your car. Hmm. Y'all don't tell no ass no more. The Bible tells you to whoop that ass. Christians, church folk. Bible tells you to beat him. It ain't gonna kill him. The Bible says that foolishness is the way of a child, but the rod of correction will drive it from him. Then black folk following the lead of white folk. I don't put my child. I don't be that. They, and I heard them on for one day on my on one of my children. You know the slaves beat us. The slave master beat us. So I can't beat my child. It'll be just like slavery all over again. Them motherfuckers ain't never been in no goddamn slave in no cotton field. Your ass ain't evil. 
You heard white folks start about this shit standing in the motherfucking corn. Time out. That's what they call that motherfucker. See, that shit wouldn't work for me. That is, go stand in that motherfucking corn over there. Yes, ma'am. It will just gave me time out to think about some more shit to get my ass into. That's what time out will do. But I, I, them old women that raised me knocked my ass out. Wasn't no time out. It was called knock your ass out. Skid it. Broom. Shoe heels. Extension cords. Raised tracks. The goddamn house, if it was necessary, pick that motherfucker up and put it on top of your motherfucking head. There was consequences. Huh? Hmm. These motherfuckers. And y'all raise them. Y'all live with them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers cuss you out. Then, I, I've heard some parents use this, this statement. I can't do nothing with him. How the fuck a motherfucker live in your house? Eating your bread. Breathing your air. Got a remote and changing the channels on the TV. And you can't do nothing with that motherfucker. Shit. That motherfucker wouldn't eat. So, you know, for, 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 for a while, I, I, I was mad at the new mayor and the police chief. And let me tell you this about the police chief. I read where she was in the mall. Over the weekend. At the cosmetic counter. And you can look at so she liked that old makeup. And a lady took a picture with her. Then got ready to, I forget which mall, big mall she was at, got ready to leave to go get her car. And her car had been stolen. And the police chief, C.J. Davis, got on the on the phone tell them she was in this mall because she was calling to tell them it wasn't enough surveillance cameras on the lot and stay with the victim of the car theft took her home this is C.J. Davis Took the lady home. The lady's remote and uh, her keys were in the in the house in the car. Was in old court. Okay. Uh, the police chief went through the lady's house. She probably had, she probably called some backup too, but n nevertheless. To make sure there was no one that had stole, cause her mail was in the car. It had the address that nobody had gotten to the house before her and was in her house, was in the uh, garage. Stayed with the lady. Now, I don't, CJ Davis, I don't think that I have ever applauded you.
my hat's off to you. See, because we can always talk about the the uh, wrong or what you don't like about a person. But that is commendable. See, we're always talking about the negative things that police do. And I'm sure it's some other police to do some nice things. But I, I gotta get up off of CJ Davis. Okay? Me, I, I gotta get up off of CJ Davis. And guess what? I gotta get off of Paul Young. Because I have come to the realization that this issue that is going on in this city that you call Memphis, Tennessee is not a Paul Young problem. It's not a C.J. Davis problem. It's your goddamn problem. You the one that's turning these motherfuckers loose in the goddamn streets. Shit. These motherfuckers get up in your house. Go to your breakfast table and eat your they sugar frosted flakes. And a bowl of egg. Come on man, you should be running for office instead of being in your basement talking about how much bad the black community is. Run for office. Motherfucker, I don't need to run. I am more powerful right here. And motherfucker, I ain't in no motherfucking basement. I live in Memphis. Ain't no goddamn basements in Memphis. Big Jojo, suck my ass, motherfucker. With a little straw. I don't need to run for office. Everybody know who I am. Shit. Jojo, go find the motherfucking babies that you done had, your motherfucking you, that you don't know where they are. You ain't been to see about You ain't took them no milk. You ain't took them no pamphlets. You ain't took them no uh, now laters. Shit. Fuck you, man. You, they, they, you ain't took them no Kool-Aid, no sweet tea, no Coca-Cola. Motherfucker. See, it's motherfuckers like you, you, you punk-ass man that want to come at me with that bullshit. I don't need to run for my office. Shit. This situation in this city will not, cannot come together until you parents start kicking that ass. Our ass kicking a day will save the penitentiary away. Yeah. Our ass kicking on what a day will keep the penitentiary away. I need to run for the motherfucking office. I have an office right now. I'm the most influential motherfucker that do this in this town. Everybody else that tries to do this is trying to imitate me. I miss the motherfucker. I, oh, I, what, what office your old pastor? The motherfucking office. I miss the motherfucker. I'm past the motherfucker. Because I do this shit with spirit.
Start kicking your child's ass. Children in there. Is a dog yet? I can't see outside. I ain't got no windows up here where I am. On the second floor of my my house. Ain't in the motherfucking basement, motherfucker. Go get your mom out the basement. That's where that bitch sleep at. On a pallet. Will cut the pee in at night. And quit fucking with me. See, I run into folks and say, you don't talk about the white folk like you talk about black folk. Because, you know why? Let me tell you what, I don't. You motherfucking right, I don't. Why? Because the white folk ain't fucking up the, our communities. It's you niggas. Niggas. It's you that's getting your children running rampant all across the streets. It's you that have lost control of your children. It's black folk that's killing black folk. White folk ain't killing us. Hell, white folks scared too, goddammit, shit. You're letting your child just run loose. These motherfucking actor of this and that. When the baby shot in Mississippi and uh, Trump yesterday, woman was shot, man was shot, the, the man died on the scene, the woman died later on. And the little bitch child, two, three years old, we don't know how that child is doing. You want me to talk about white folk? No. Because, see, the white folk can't say what I'm saying. See, because, see, the white man can't say what I'm going to say right now. A nigga ain't shit. I know. White folk that's watching me, because see, white folk watch me too. White folk that's at home right now, in the comfort of your home. I'm going to give you permission to say this. All right, all together, white folk, a nigga ain't shit. Go on, say it. Get it out of here. White folk, purge yourself. Get it all out. Let it come out of your stomach. <coughs> Portions that you, you and your mammy watch of the eclipse. Fuck an eclipse. Come on, white folk. Let, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, white folk. I'm going to give you permission to say it. Hide in your house right now. A nigga ain't shit. Didn't that feel good, white folk? All right, black folk, it's your turn now. Come on, come on, come on. 
those of you that's tired of this bullshit. You you tired of listening to uh, excuses by politicians. You're tired of, of, of hearing these excuses from grown ass folk. These parents who said they can't do something, uh, nothing with their children. Come on and say it with me. A nigga ain't shit. Hmm. Never headed motherfuckers ain't shit. Won't go to school, motherfuckers ain't shit. Can't read their names in boxcar letters on a train going slow down the railroad track ain't shit. Won't you steal your shit ain't shit. Won't will steal the sugar out of sweet steak out of doo doo ain't shit. Motherfuckers, kiss my ass and call it sweet. And cause you niggas ain't shit. Some of you, some of you, we need to take some of y'all fucking privileges away. Yeah, 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 yeah. We uh, we need to pass a law to take uh your fucking privileges away. Cause you fuck up. And meet a, a dumb motherfucker with some fucked up DNA, and y'all get together. You got some dumb DNA. He got some D a uh, dumb DNA, and y'all put a dumb DNA uh, motherfucker into this world. Shit, I, 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 I know some of y'all, you black folk want to run up the street and say, A nigga ain't shit! They probably uh, scare all your neighbors and your neighbors will come out the house and, uh, you show his right. What, what was that you said? A nigga ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit! Mr. Mayor, will you meet with me? I want to sit down and talk to you, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. I want to do something on one of these committees and shit. Because, see, you won't get them motherfuckers that's just going to say what they think you want to hear. You know what, Mr. Mayor? I don't give a fuck no more that the white folk that gave you a million dollars. I don't give a fuck. I'm too busy trying to make my own nigga now, shit. Fuck a nigga. If the white folk bought you, goddamn, they bought you. We got you now. Ain't nothing we can do until election time again. And that's a long way off. But it ain't Paul Young's fault. It ain't C.J. Davis's fault. It ain't the police force fault. Teachers can't educate your children because they are uneducatable. Is that a word? It is now. They uneducatable. Dumb motherfuckers. Clowning motherfuckers. Wanna be the shell motherfuckers. Can't read, can't write, motherfuckers. Five times one junior is how much? Uh, 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 five times one six. Poor shit. You, you gone. I ain't got to kiss up to nobody. Okay? Go kiss your mama and 
tell come, come back and tell me how well my dick tastes, okay? I'm just telling you it's a goddamn truth. If you don't want to hear it, fuck it. Go listen to somebody else. Motherfuckers, you can't go on real street now. I don't go on that motherfucker. They need to call Beale Street the shadow of death. They wait to kill on your own Beale Street. And why why y'all gotta come all the way downtown to kill motherfuckers? So you want me to applaud Frank Goddard because uh, he found a Corvette that had been stolen. The motherfucker might have been behind the skin of the car. Shit. Frank Goddard, the actor of this, found a stolen car. Hell, might be in one of his boys. So I got no accolades for that motherfucker. There's some corrupt shit going on in the streets of Memphis, Tennessee. I don't go on Bill Street. I used to go on Bill Street, up and down Bill Street. Need to name it Murder Row, Death Row. It's dangerous. I'm gonna have security at the church. I went to the church today. I taped uh, a program called Gangsters in the Church of God in Christ. I didn't have no security with me. And I got a guy seven foot feet tall so, as the security. And my personal security when I need it. But when I got off, got out the car in North Memphis, I had my shit on.
But those of you that park your cars outside your houses, y'all need to do what this uh, man did. Okay. Who's she? I don't know who you're talking about. Who's a celebrity? Who the fuck you talking about? I don't know. The biggest celebrity in Memphis I know is me. Shit. I don't know not about none of these other motherfuckers. Let me see who the, who the fuck you talking about. I'm the only somebody. You the only person who doesn't know who she is. She was a celebrity. She wasn't a normal random. I don't know who the fuck you talking about. Shit. Don't know. Don't give a fuck. until they come up with a law. That deals with tell that thing, whatever you man, go suck your mama's dick and quit texting me, motherfucker. If that bitch is dead in Mount Carmel Cemetery, go dig that bitch up and suck your mammy's dick and leave me the fuck up. Don't quit. Stop texting me, you ugly motherfucker, you. God damn it. Zim? Zim, you don't knock my goddamn light on off, you motherfucker, you. Shit, Zim. Let me go to the commercial. Zim running her motherfucking happy ass through here and just turn my my goddamn light over. Shit. You motherfucker you. Huh? Oh. Let me straighten the I'm holding it up now. I'm here today to introduce you to Get your ass somewhere and set your goddamn ass down. Move. Huh. Take a look with me. Not that I got them. Red cop. You know that. Look for your appointment. That's the first time we ever did that. that's going to come with the refrigerator, microwave, sink, ice machine. We also going to provide parking lot security. Renovated bathroom. In this, in this room right here, everything is free. You get a free photo booth. You get free 360 when you rent at the red carpet. We have two more bathrooms down Set there. Set your there. A total of three. We also have a big stage area for whatever you might need that for. Nice, spacious, 3,000 square feet building. I've got the best prices in town, and everything is free. You also get two marquee numbers, four marquee letters for free. Thank y'all. Come see me. Hello. I'm Tanya Jones, developer and still full owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. It's exciting and humbling to see how On Demand is growing and evolving while still being the same product you trust, purchased, and love. The Pain Rub is 100% still the same, 100% drug free, 100% all natural, and I am 100% still involved. I created On Demand Pain Relief Rub 
after I began suffering with my own chronic pain. And yes, the results have been amazing. You may see the new branding, the new look, and the new website, all coming from me, the same person that has a heart to help others deal with their chronic pain. Go ahead, place your order, or stop by any of the locations to pick up yours. I thank you so much for your support and trust. I am Tanya Jones, 100% owner of On Demand Pain Relief Rub. Memphis and the surrounding areas, Regroup Upscale Thrift Boutique has opened in the heart of Frazier. We carry many name brands ranging from various sizes and styles. With new arrivals of clothing, accessories, gift items, and more with pricing starting as low as $3. All the proceeds help empower the Husband Institute Boys Mentoring Program. So come and shop at Regroup Upscale Thrift Boutique located at 3754 North Watkins. Great prices, great people, great products. The biggest hazard to Memphis drivers other than car-to-car -car collisions is potholes. Well, you need a tire. You need to go to Tri-State Tire Wholesale located at 3278 Democrat Road at American Way. They specialize in new and used tires. I don't care what it is that you drive, whether it's a car, a truck, tractor in the field, a motorcycle, SUV, or a semi-truck. Tri-State Tire Wholesale has the tire or tires for you at the best price in the Mid-South area. Every brand known to man is carried at Tri-State Tire Wholesale. Don't look anywhere else. Tri-State Tire Wholesale. 32 78 Democrat Road at American Way. Call them at 901 795 0707. 901 795 0707. Are you sleeping on a mattress like this or like this or even like this? Well, you need to be coming to 901 Mattresses, 7166 Winchester Road. Or give them a call at 901-218-7118. They have unbelievable prices. Queen size mattresses starting at $199. King size mattresses starting at $299. Brand name mattresses at the lowest prices in town. And check out the bedroom furniture options at deeply discounted prices. They're open Monday through Saturdays from 10 until 6 and Sundays from 12 noon until 5. Easy financing is available. No credit needed. 90 day same as cash. Only $50 gets your mattress home same day delivery is available that is 901 mattress 7166 winchester get them a call at 901-218-7118 ray ray you are not the father. Hey guys, are you in a relationship where a child is involved and you're not sure if you are the father or not? Well, stop guessing. I know for sure. Call Quick Collect Drug and Relationship Testing Service at 901-304-7592. That's 901-304-7592. 9-2. Paternity testing by mouth swab only. Quick Collect offers paternity testing, maternity testing, grandparentage testing, sibling testing, twin testing, abaclor testing, where you can be tested if you are the aunt or the uncle. They do legal testing. That's ordered by the court or not legal, you just want to get it done.
Quick Collect Drug and Relationship Testing Service also provides drug and alcohol testing. Look, if you got employees and new employees and you are wondering about them, get them drug tested. Panels range from 5 to 18. Results come back within 24 to 48 hours. DOT drug testing for all CDL drivers or FMSCA carriers. Breath alcohol testing. Also, alcohol and urine testing. Instant drug testing for immediate results. You heard me. Instant drug testing for immediate results. Hair and particle drug testing as well. They notarize documents for anyone that needs this service. They will also loan signing agents if you are a realtor or a title company. If you need this particular service. Quick Collect Drug and Relationship Testing Service located at 6061 Stage Road Suite 6. That's 6061 Stage Road Suite Number 6. Or give them a call at 901-304-7592. 901-304-7592. And know what you need to know quick. All right. I am back. Zayla, you gone? Knock the goddamn stuff down. What you was, what you was in a hurry to get to? Oh, good God, man. Set your ass down. Lay down. Lay down. Don't be just looking at me. Lay down. to send me. Then I send you this video along with a few facts about uh, but this case. I don't want the truth out. But man, I just want the truth out. I don't want my name attached to it though. But I am a close family friend who has their approval. I'm tired of the media giving false info. You can call me directly on air as long as I can't be heard by anyone but you. Why the fuck you think I'd be interested in calling you again, motherfuckers? Shit. I'd be tired of you motherfuckers that want to throw rocks and hide your hands. You know some shit that the people need to know. Okay? And you want me to hide your identity. I don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't know what the video is all about, who it's about, about. You comfortable now, Zen? some shit going on. Look, if you'd like to get some advertising, this chin thick is to the north. Why the fuck is that your business what I'm reading off of? Damn, bitch. Get you some business. Damn. Yeah. 
Some of you motherfuckers just get, just get on my motherfucking nerve. Shit. I know the mic is, the mic still supposed to be on, goddamn. How the fuck am I talk to you motherfuckers if the mic ain't on? Stupid motherfucker, DW Rabbit. Damn. You must be the Easter Bunny motherfucker. Shit. Man. Alright. Your children. Your parents. Some of you as family members got people, young people in your family that you don't like. You, you met young people, just nieces and nephews and shit, that you don't even let come to your house. Because you know they some roguish motherfuckers. Now, you, you know, dick, damn bitch, you know you got on the same exact vest and tie combo as your back drop. No, bitch, I don't. No, I don't. I got more than one blue suit. And I got ties, a whole drossel full of ties. So no. Mr. Chen, call me, goddamn, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of shit. These, y'all make these stupid statements. All right. Miss Chen, think it's to the north. You must have a long ass chin. Um, call me. Nano one two three one nine two three nine. Okay. Nano one two three one nine two three nine. You got something you want to say? Call me. The phone lines is open. What to anything? We got eighteen minutes. Eighteen minutes. Most of you know ain't want else of yours. Better not lift a finger to applaud CJ or uh, we on your way. Bitch, I don't give a fuck. What CJ did was commendable. Now somebody won't tell me that the, the bitch that she helped was a, uh, a celebrity. I don't know. Shit. Don't betray the city of Memphis. So I'm betraying the city of Memphis because I mentioned she did something nice. That was nice. Shit. It's a job, but it was still nice. She didn't have to do it. Okay. And Miss Chen, one more comment by you, and you gone from the page. Don't betray the people of Memphis. Okay. The other phone is 901-231-9239. Call me. You got something to say? You, uh, you don't like to say something I said? Call me. Nine one two three one 
nine two three nine. Oh yeah, I just want to talk shit. Yeah, who is this and what do you want, please? Who is this and what do you want, please? Do what now? You want to fuck your mama? Well, then have her call me again. Nine zero one two three one nine two three nine. And if you thieves get mad, I don't give a fuck. Police. Need to beat your ass. Yeah. I believe in police brutality on some of you motherfuckers. Some of y'all need to, uh. I don't know who the woman was at the motherfucking cosmetic account. Who the fuck was the motherfucker? I don't know her. Shit. Damn. She wasn't a normal citizen. What, what, what was she? If she what, was she abnormal? Was she retarded? Uh, she afflicted? I don't know who, who the motherfucker at the counter was. Who was she? Please somebody tell me. Who the fuck was she? Did you go? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you. Alright, 901-231-9239. Call now or uh, forever hold your peace. Because it's close enough to 9 o'clock for me to get off this air. Mm -hmm. But don't bl blame the police department. For not raising your goddamn children. Okay. Yeah, so what's this? Okay. Who is the lady of Yates or uh, Carol? What she do? Yes, what is this? Tony. Who? Tony. Tony, who? Damn, Tony. You need to get that damn uh, smoke detector fixed. Bitch, come get the smoke between my motherfucking legs, bitch. Okay? Fuck you. Bitch, now, fuck, now, that's what you want me to do is fuck you. Your ass or your mouth? Okay.
She runs the Dance Academy here in Memphis. Carol, I was, okay, I don't know her. And you know, goddamn, bad as my motherfucking leaves is, I ain't going to no motherfucking Dance Academy, so how the fuck I'm supposed to know who the fuck a Dance Academy person is? Shit. Damn. All right, I'm tired of you motherfuckers. I'm finna go. Ten minutes to the hour of nine o'clock. Who is this and what do you want? Man, I don't give a man, man. Why are you call to tell me that? I don't give a fuck. Man, 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 man. Eat, man. I got some big turds. Okay, you know what I shall bitch too. Well, I don't give a fuck. Motherfucker, shit. Damn. Carol, I don't give a fuck. They don't make us a celebrity because she own a goddamn dance studio shit. Damn. And do you think CJ Davis knew who she was? Yeah, I saw the goddamn picture, I saw the post. I don't know who she is. But I still said, no matter who she was, it was nice for CJ to take her motherfucking home as home. All right, who's this, sir? Yes, who is this? Who who are you, sir? Who are you, sir? Kenneth who? Kenneth who? Am I supposed to know you? Sir, am I supposed to... Sir, why are you calling me about Biloxi? I don't even know you. God damn. How do I know you? Do you you work at the casino? No, no, I don't work at the casino, but you know, uh, I got some things going on down there. Like what? All kinds of stuff. Come on now. You know, I'm sorry, you sir. Know sir, no, I don't know. Man, as many people as I know, do you think I'm supposed to keep a motherfucker like you in my mind? I don't know who you are. What did you What did you call me for tonight? Man, I'll, man, 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 I don't need you to check on me. I don't need you to check on me. Man, come on, man. Don't do that. We took pictures and everything together, you know. Man, 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 I take pictures with a whole lot of folk. So, goddamn, me take, taking a picture with you was a privilege for you, not for me, okay? No, don't nobody know who you are. I don't know who you are. No, sir, I don't. Okay, I, I, I don't know who you are. Because I took a picture with your motherfucking ass. Don't mean shit to me. Okay? No, it don't. Have a good night. Shit. Woo! Niggas ain't shit. Well, the whole choir said, repeat after me, 
Niggas ain't shit. Okay? If you wanna know Sometimes the other news don't get it right.